Well, guys, after over a month away, almost two months, I am back to my Madden NFL 2009 PSP franchise. As I just finished simulating earlier, the 2034 seasons were down to the final four seasons of this league. So it's now time to begin the next Super Bowl. But before we do that, we got to take a look at the stands at the end of 2033. As in the AFC North, the Browns won it at 10-6 once again, but they did not play good to start off the year. In fact, they were 0-3 to start off the year. Their defense played really good, but their offense was really bad. But they returned, rebounded to finish 10-6 to win the division again. As the Ravens also had a slow start to the year, and they just never really recovered after that. They went 8-8 eight and eight and missed the playoffs. The Bengals had a Quick start the year, but then they fell apart afterwards, and they fell to six and ten. As the Steelers start off, I think it was like zero and nine before they finally won their first win, and then they went four and twelve. Which hey, they were the worst team last year, two and fourteen. So going from that to four and twelve, especially since they won a whole bunch of games near the end of the year, good start. I mean, good times. I mean, good chance for them to maybe recover. So anyways, in the AFC South, the Titans, after going 6-9-1 last year with all the injuries, shot all the way back up to 13-3, got home field advantage throughout the AFC playoffs, especially with the amazing start off 0-2 as well, I believe. A massive turnaround to get into the playoffs. The Colts went 11-5. They had a quick start, but then they fell off near the middle part of the year, and it took a long time for them to recover to go 11-5, but they were not as good as they were last year. And then the Jaguars, after they went 12-4 and last year, they bombed out to 5-11 and with their quarterback out for the season early on in the year. And the Texans bombed out to 3-13, and as not a good season for them. In the AFC East, the Dolphins managed to improve finally to 12-4 and after, like, what, three straight years going 10-6? They finally improved to 12-4 and to get the division and clinch first round bye. And that's all because the defending two-time champion Jets they start off strong the year. They were 7 and no, wait, I think they were 7 0 or 5 0 or something like that, but they went undefeated for quite a while, and they were 10 and 2 going into the final four weeks, leading the entire conference. But then their starting quarterback suffered pretty much a season ending injury, and they went from 10 and 2 to 11 and 5. Enough to get into the playoffs, but this time only enough to get in as a wild card. The Bills had a really strong start to the year. They were 7-4 at one point before Reality caught up to them as they went 8-8 eight and, eight and missed the playoffs. The Patriots start off terribly, but hey, they turned it around near the end to go 6-10. and 10. So in the AFC West, the Chiefs just managed to clinch the division, but they struggled all year as they clinched at 8-8. Eight and eight. The Raiders had a terrible start to the year, but then they recovered to go 8-8, eight and eight, but it wasn't enough to clinch it. The Broncos choked at the end they were 7-4 and looking pretty solid in the playoffs but then they lost their final five games to miss out on the playoffs as the chargers bomb out to 6-10 and if they went 7-9-7 not me nine seven last year unfortunately for them so in the afc north the vikings had a really strong year as they went 12-4 and four. the lions were off to like their best start since their dynasty years back in the 2010s they started off six and one but then their starting quarterback suffered a season-ending injury, pretty much, and they went from six and one to nine and seven. Very disappointing finish. They could have easily been a Super Bowl contender if that injury didn't happen. As the Bears completely, well, actually, no, they t finished the same record last year. They still played really bad, three and thirteen, but they moved up to the third seed, and that's because the Packers completely bombed out as they went two and fourteen. Remember this team? I think it was like two years ago had the number one seed in the NFC playoff bracket, almost made the Super Bowl. <laughs> NFC South, the Falcons, as the runner-up to the Super Bowl last year, was und had a, also was undefeated for a long time, and they just ran away with it as they went 14-2, and improving from their record last year, surprisingly, as they clinched home field advantage in the NFC side of the playoffs. The Pampers improved to 10-6 and after having a rough start early on in the middle of the year. But that was not enough still to make the playoffs as the Saints, they were off to a good start in the year as well. But then their quarterback suffered an injury that missed the majority of the season. And they recovered, but it was too late at that point as they went 8-8 eight and eight and missed the playoffs. As the Buccaneers improved record-wise, they went to 6-10, and 10, but performance-wise, I don't think they made much progress. The NFC East, the Cowboys had their quarterback suffer a season-ending injury, but luckily their backup was just as good, so they managed to ride out with an 11-5 record to get back into the I mean, playoffs once again. As the Eagles made the playoffs once again, as they improved record-wise, they went 11-5, but missing out on the tiebreakers. The Giants start off 0-4, 
But then they went 7-5 the rest of the days. They went a pretty solid 7-9. Maybe starting to turn around for themselves as the Redskins continue to struggle as they fell down to 6-10. Same record as last year, but they did not play so good. And then finally, the NFC West, the 49ers... After a slow start where they were 0-2, they finally broke through again as they went 11-5 thanks to their strong defense as they played really good to make it back to the playoffs. The Seahawks were 3-13 last year, but thanks to the soft schedule, they stunned everyone by going 10-6 and, and making the playoffs. A seven-game turnaround, that is insane. As the Rams... Started off solid, but their quarterback suffered an injury early on in the year, and they was never he was never able to come back, so they fell to six and ten. And the Cardinals, who won the division like the last several years, collapsed to four and twelve as well. So in the AFC, it was number one Titans, number two Dolphins, number three Browns, number four Chiefs, number five Jets, number six Colts, and the NFC was number one Falcons, number two Vikings, number three 49ers, number four Cowboys, number five Eagles, and number six Seahawks. All right. So, as we take a look at the wild card, the Colts held on barely to beat the Browns. There's that record, I mean, that score that score does not reflect the outcome of the game. The Browns played a lot better in that regard. And the 49ers spanked the Seahawks. The Chiefs held on to dethrone the weakened Jets as so much for the free peat for the Jets as they were on the mark to do so until the injury happened. But their championship has been dethroned. And the Cowboys crushed the Eagles in the divisional round. The Colt, the Titans shut out the Colts 44 to nothing. As then the Falcons crushed the Cowboys. Then the Chief, the Dolphins crushed the Chiefs. As the 49ers got crushed by the Vikings. As no close game in the divisional round. Then the conference championships. The Titans held on. To beat the Dolphins, to make it to the Super Bowl for the first time since 1999, 35 years later. No, 25 years later, I mean to say. Meanwhile, in the NFC, the Falcons crushed the Vikings, surprisingly, as they made back-to-back -back Super Bowls now. So, Super Bowl is now uh, number 68, I believe it was, as it's the Titans and the Falcons, as it's time to get on. One of these teams is going to clinch... Well, technically, no. The fa the Titans clinched two titles, actually, back in 1960 in 1961. But this would be their first Super Bowl if they win it. So this would be title number three if they get it. The Falcons, meanwhile, have not won a title in now their 67-year uh, history. Remember, they fell short last year when they lost to the Jets 7-3. to So they're hoping to make it back this time around. As it's now time for the Super Bowl. And 2034, so yep, the Falcons are the home team this game. Make it, no, 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 go back. Make it sure, yep. Home way uniform, since the Titans are away team, we're going to play them start off. As here we go. Time for Super Bowl 68, I believe it was. Or 69, whatever the number is. Hey, we're out in San Diego like we were in 2016. As the Titans are going to start off with the ball. So, this will be one hell of an interesting matchup. Will the Falcons get their revenge from last year's close, low scoring loss and get their first title ever? Or will the Titans finally break free after all these years and finally get? As Super Bowl 69 is underway. As, oh, oh, one man, oh, one man to beat maybe could have gone all the way. Because remember, kickoff returns, like I said, are very easy in this game. So... Of course, the Titans. Last year went 6-9-1 because of their terrible injuries, but this time around 13-3 is with one of the best defense in the league as they're trying to get their first title in like 70-something years. As no one was really open but made the catch. Big first down right there. It was like no one open until like the last minute. Big start for the Titans as they're now at midfield on one play. As they're going to run it. And just plowed through the defender, gained eight yards out of it. They have, they have, like I said, they have one of the best defense in the league. Their offense is pretty good, but their main strength is their defense. But right now, their offense is kicking the Falcons' ass so far. As God, enough for the first down for the Falcons. So now, oh, they're going to run it again. It's like the third run in a row now. And this time it's going to be a loss and a penalty two to boot. Oof. Now it's going to be first and 20. 
Ouch! Back to near midfield now for the Titans. That's not what they wanted to have happen to them. All right, first and 20 now. And, and got sacked as he was going to throw as we have our first injury in the game. There was a receiver open too that I was throwing to, but got sacked before I can hand me throw it. So it's now second and 29 now. So here we go, second and 29. Going for it. Oh, incomplete. So it's now third and 29 after having a really strong start to... Falcons defense is swarming. Oof. Out for the game on the very first drive. That sucks for them. Here we go. Third and 29. Pratt as he got it. Converted a third and 29. And the Titans are close to the red zone. Wow. Who would have thought the Fal I mean, the Titans would convert that after the Falcons' stingy defense showed up? Big blown opportunity for the Falcons. Pratt, he, oh, incomplete. I was almost passing interference right there because I saw his model get, like, caught up by a Falcons player. All right, so it's now second 10. Oh, and got sacked as he threw it again. Just got lucky it was incomplete. So, again, the Falcons defense is getting to the Titans quarterback so far in this game. Has not had a chance to get that ball off. Brad, he's got... Oh, I thought he had for the moment. Oh, that was close. That is risky. We're going to try, but it's risky because even 22 yards out, that's actually a 30-something yard field goal. That's not guaranteed, believe it or not. Yeah, we'll see. Is it up? And it's good. Okay, the Fal um, Titans actually got it. All right. So the Titans start off leading the Super Bowl 3 0. Something they did not do in their last Super Bowl appearance back in 1999, where they never led, only tied up late against the Rams. So now here come the Falcons. As, here we go. Falcons, best team in the league record wise, one of the best offenses. They're hoping to not have last year's Super Bowl, remember, where they couldn't even, where, where they can only score three points. We already had three points scored this time. Could the Falcons now get on the board? Ross open for the big catch. And a first down for the Falcons. As both offenses so far are clicking, unlike last year's Super Bowl. Oh, man, what a defensive slugfest that was. Seven to three. So here we go for the Falcons as they're going to run it. And nice hole as it's going to gain five yards out of it. All right, so now... As they're going to go for a pass. Oh, Ross is all oh, overthrew right there. Oh, it was right there. He was no one there but overthrew it. Eh, I don't feel comfortable with this play. All right. Oh, going for it and caught it! Big opening right there. First down, Falcons. Now in the Titans territory. So Falcons got lucky there as they managed to convert. Big third down plays we had. I mean plays we had so far in this game, and no gain. Well, what one yard? I mean to say, but there was no opening. So far, the Titans still lead in terms of total yards, but the Falcons are not far behind. Let's see, we go. The Falcons are about to pass. Pruitt is up, and he got it! First and goal at the one. All right, the Falcons are just one yard away from punching it in. Okay, they have come to play in this game so far. For, oh, got so oh, got lucky there. Almost fumbled it. Got really lucky right there. Tried to get the ball off. All right, second goal. Here we go. And caught it. Touchdown, Falcons. Something that eluded them last year. A touchdown. 
If they could have just gotten it, they could have won it. All right. So the Falcons have now flipped the score for the Super Bowl last year. As they're now, well, not quite yet. They need the extra point. As we're waiting for it. Here we go. Up and good. So now the Falcons lead. 7-3 to three as our Super Bowl score is already matched last year's score. Wow. 10 points already in the first quarter alone. Remember last year, it took till like late into the third quarter before we finally had a score or something like that. And here we are, deep in the first quarter. We already had two scores as Titans start off right there. All right. So now let's see. Can the Titans respond? Like the bar's already set so high in the Super Bowl after last year's dud. And, oh, no gain right there. Might have maybe cut up more. Maybe we could have gotten a whole bunch more. As that's going to be the final play for the first quarter. As the Falcons already lead 7-3. to three, A reverse of last year's score. Alright, here we go. Run it. And it was a big lag spike right there. I don't know what happened there. That's not good as only gained one yard. As the Titans cannot run for anything right now. Alright, third and ten. Going for it! Caught! First down! Titans converted. So we had three big third down touched me on passes in this game. It all converted. Including a third and 29. That's going to run it. Got a block and gonna gain set I mean gain three. Okay, so now Yeah, both teams putting up similar yards total so far. And there we go is off oh, no first down. I thought the I thought the Titans got it. So now I think the Titans have more rushing yards, but just barely. And yes, they're going to pass it on third and inches. Austin right over, got it! And there we go, pass midfield for the Titans. As they're going to run it. Oh, big opening right there. And a spin! Two minute warning as now at the 30 for the Titans. As now they definitely have more rushing yards. All right, so Titans trying to get into position for another field goal to take a lead and lost a yard. Oh, two yards. Ouch. That is not what the Titans needed right there. Not at all what they needed. They did not need that two-yard loss after they were running it so well earlier. Caught and going to be short of the first down. Just, oh no, an injury as the Titans had to take a timeout. That's not what they needed either. Ouch. Man, Peterson was very productive in this game, but now he's out for who knows how long. As they're going to get the first down at least. Alright, now the Titans are in the red zone. I love how I pressed the button and had to press it like three times before it accepted it. All right, so could the Titans get in? Has got it! And just seven yards. But couldn't get out of bounds either. So it's now at the 11. Ouch! Out for the rest of the game, unfortunately, for the Titans receiver right there. He was doing so good. Pruitt! Got it! Touchdown, Titans! And the Titans retake the lead. Man, Titans offense has been getting inconsistent results, but they're doing something with it. And this Super Bowl is now higher scored than last one. Here we go. Up and good. So it's now 10 nothing for Titans. No, 10-7 Titans, I mean to say. Yeah, they ran a lot more right there, but... Got yards out of in most cases. All right, here we go. Plenty of time for the Falcons to go downfield to get something out of it. 
Oh, oh. Man, there's like so many spots where I think they're going to go for it all the way and they just can't get it. All right, going for it. Pruitt, he's open. And got the catch. And big gain, almost midfield. One yard short of midfield. All right. Here we go. Here he is. He's got it! But didn't go out of bounds. Alright, so now is there... I guess they're trying to burn out as much time as possible. That way the Titans can't try and get something going either. And sacked! That's the third... Sack in this game is now the Falcons are going to call a timeout. Oh my goodness. The defensive line is really getting to the quarterbacks in this game. As the Titans are dominating in terms of yards now. Going for it. And got it. Caught it. All right. And they're not going to go for the timeout. As they're just trying to waste time so the Titans can't get something going. What a big conversion right there for the Falcons. Going for it. Oh, too hard of a throw. So at least it stopped the clock. So it's second 10 now. Gonna run it. Okay, interesting idea. At least there's two timeouts and they're in field goal range. Well, barely. And one yard, not really worth it, as they're going to call a timeout. Yeah, they need to get something here. All right, third and nine. Pruitt, he got it, but he couldn't go out of bounds, sadly, so they're going to take their last timeout. Now they need to start getting plays. No, we're not going to go for it yet. Let's go for my classic play-action play that I've done throughout this entire series. Here we go! Oh, incomplete! Oh, it was right there, too. Alright, let's see, maybe... Yeah, of course, he's going to say kick it. No, we don't want to kick it yet. We want to try to get a touchdown at least still. It's like right there still. We just got to hope this play um, doesn't go out. I mean, goes out of bounds after catching. Or goes in for the touchdown. Because here we go. Where's the throw? Got it! And going in! Touchdown, Falcons! And the Falcons scored! All right, it actually worked. Two touchdowns already in the game for the Falcons. Leaving eight seconds on the clock for the Titans to try something, maybe. All right, it's up, and it's good. So the Falcons, with eight seconds left in the first, second quarter, leading 14-10 to 10 as they're going to kick it off now. As like I said, I have to always play. I mean, what's like less than a minute left, for kickoff, I have to do the kickoff. That way they don't squib it. Oh, shit, that might be somewhat of a square by accident. All right. All right, so tackled. So the Titans now have, like, five seconds left to get, like, a Hail Mary try in. Which we've seen happen, I believe, in the Super Bowl of this series. So it's not out of the realm of impossibility. All right, now I got to find the Hail Mary play. It would be in a shotgun, I'm pretty sure. I haven't seen a shotgun. That's not it. I guess we'll try here since there's at least four receivers. Here we go. Got nothing else left to try. All right, can the, can the Titans score big on the last play of, before halftime? Going for it. Oh, he's double covered, though. He got it, but he's going to get taken down right there, unfortunately. 
Oh, big play there to stat the pads. I mean, the pads. I mean, stat pad the Titans quarterback. But it's not going to get anything as going into halftime as the Falcons lead 14 to 10. All right. So the tight and the Falcons start off in good position. Hey, wasted all that time. As you see right now, right now the Titans are leading in terms of yards, but that was mostly because of that big ass play. Here we go. So let's see what the Falcons can do here. As there was no, you had a defender right there, and they didn't cover. Come on. So let's see now if the Falcons can start getting themselves in position to start winning. They've only had seven rushing yards this game. That's pretty sad. They got to run the ball more. Going for the pass. Quiet. And first down and a whole bunch more. Turnover battle and running the ball has been the most effective outcome for these Super Bowls. Right now, Titans have the rushing yards, but still down. As now they go, the Falcons run and gain more yards on that one. All right, so... Gain, doubled their yard total, I mean rushing totals on that one play, so it's now second two, as they're going to run it and only gain a yard that time. So it's third and one now. Let's see, no. I guess pitch it off right there. Now what the play I wanted to do is really, really back and going to gain the first down at least. And a penalty too. All right. So now we're at the Titans 42. That's a massive gain too. Like 20 yard swing. A big, big mistake there by the Titans. Here we go. As got a oh nice game right there is now all of a sudden the Falcons are running it like crazy and effective too they're getting up there with the most I mean same yards as the Titans already have second two short gain and incomplete all right they're gonna pitch it here we go third and two can they convert like they did last time just got off one man to no! Oh, one man to beat, and they couldn't do it. Are you kidding me? Yeah, they got plenty. That's way too far of a field goal in this game, sadly. All right, here we go. Oh, baby. Oh, didn't get the tight the Falcons bounce they needed. So the Titans defense actually stopped the Falcons. Now could they go back downfield and get the lead back is the question. The Titans got very lucky that their defense managed to stop them because the Falcons were running the ball really well until that last drive. Here we go. Almost picked right there. They got the Falcons. I mean, the Titans got lucky that they get intercepted. And sacked the fourth sack in this game as there was no one open as all of a sudden the defense is clamping hard in this game. Yeah, they've lost both. I mean, the Titans have lost yards this game now since this quarter. Third and 20. And sacked almost a safety. Almost a safety. Oh, my goodness. Almost a safety. Tried to get open, but a back-to-back -back sack as there's four sacks in this game. As the Titans have been stuffed. What a dominant defensive performance right there by the Falcons front four. Could have had the safety, but they couldn't get it though. As that's going to start just... Oh, going to be in midfield, at past midfield. And the Falcons are in good field position. Almost where they were when their drive stalled last time. A huge switch right there for the Falcons. They needed that. Not what the Titans wanted to see, though. Going for it. Caught. And big hit. Six-yard gain. So it's now second and four. As once again, I picked the play, but it just wouldn't do it. All right, here we go. And going to get the first.
All right, so Falcons in good position right now. First down, late into the third quarter as they're slowly going downfield. Oh, a big hole right there, and another fall short of the first down. I was just about to say a fall is going to be a first, but they just got lucky there. But the Falcons are just getting downfield. They're getting close to the red zone again. Here we go. Pruitt and caught it. All right, now they're in the red. Now they're in the red zone. As looks like this might be this might be the final play of the third quarter. As they're getting to the line, could they get off in time? Oh, nice game. Still going. And gained four yards out of it. All right. As they're going to try and pass it. As here we go. McCoy open and oh, he dropped it. It was dropped. Oh, it was dropped. The touchdown was like right there, but dropped. So now we're going to the fourth quarter with the Falcons right there. 14-10 on the Titans as they are almost got the score right there. They almost has. Here we go. They're going to run it. And no gain. Well, two-yard gain out of it. As near team has been able to score, as they're going to go for the field goal and just hope that their defense stops the Titans once again. As, man, this game has just been defensive so far like last year's Super Bowl. Thank we got that good offensive start, though. It's up and, whoa, okay. Just close right there, but the Falcons got. So now the Falcons lead 17-10. to 10. All right, back-to-back -back Super Bowls where games have been really defensive, but we've seen very low-scoring Super Bowls all of a sudden explode into high-scoring ones before. Remember all the scoring we had in the first half, and we've only had one field goal in the second half. Pratt, he's open, and he's got the distance, and he, oh, he broke both tackles! Oh, one man to beat! Could he go all the way in? Oh, take it down to 10, and oh no, he got injured too! What a huge play for the Titans! And just like that, they're like nine yards away from tying it up! Are you kidding me? On one play! Oh my god! Unbelievable! And they got it in! In just two plays! The Titans have just tied this game up! Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness! They tied it up on two... Well, not tied up yet, but on two plays! Wow! They tied it up like that! And the extra point is good! Where was this offense earlier in the game? Damn! As the game is now tied up at 17! Jeez, the Titans... I mean, the Falcons got burnt! Straight up burnt on that drive! Oh, my! And a big hit right there. The Falcons kick returner took. Oh, my. Out for the game. But that was like one of the biggest plays probably of his career right there. When the Titans needed it. Pruitt. Oh, dropped. Good coverage. That's uh, just going to gain two yards. Is the Falcons deep? I mean, the Titans defense is really clamped down now. Third is now they have more yards. Could the Falcons convert though? I've oh, been a lot of conversions earlier. Could they do it like one more time? Open and caught. Big conversion right there for the Falcons. And the Falcons are near midfield. As they're trying to go downfield to maybe get themselves in the field goal range to get the win. Alright. It's open! Nice! First down! And stayed in bounds too to start running out that clock. 
They go now in Titans territory. They ran the ball board in the Titans too right now. That's pretty impressive. Edwards caught first down again. And oh no, Brian Perkins, their quarterback, is out. I mean injured. Oh no. And now they're gonna have to rely on their backup most likely. Oh my god. Who are you? Steve Hamilton. Who are you? Oh, it's not even gonna let me look at their stats. That's ass. Well, Hamilton. You're in this position now. Get the Falcons downfield for their Super Bowl. And just one yard gain. All right, we're going to burn down. It was like a minute 40. Up, oh, yep, there's the Titans taking their timeout now. Okay, so now they do got to get something here. Up, oh, he's out for the game. That sucks for Brian Perkins because the Falcons might need him right here. But here they go. They're just going to play it safe and maybe run it. Burn six as the Titans are going to take their second timeout. All right, now can the Falcons get a miracle here and convert this first down? Here we go. And they will! They will convert it! All right! They converted it as the Titans take their final timeout. Just what the Falcons needed, and they converted it. But they're going to keep running it down to get themselves a little bit closer to the field goal. Oh, big hole right there, and got the first. All right. Now they're going to start burning out the clock since they can do that. It was like a minute 20 so they can go, gotta get off by 40 seconds. Here we go. And got the first. Oh, third and inches. All right, we're going to make sure they have their timeout. Yep. All right. We're going to burn it down to like three seconds. And then we're going to call the timeout. All right, I'm going to slow down. Don't want to overshoot it. And just to be safe, I'll do it up here. All right. Three seconds left. Titans, I mean Falcons are right here. Here we go. For the field goal. Will the game end on a flat on a field goal? We've had this before in the Super Bowl in the series. Just like it happened in San Diego here back in 2016. The Panthers won it like this. When they went undefeated. Here we go. It's up, and it's good! Oh, there's one second left, though! There's still one second left! Oh, my! One second left, and the Falcons lead it 20-17. to 17. As I'm in the quandary right here, I'm going to have to kick this really hard because otherwise, Titans are going to not be able to return this and guarantee the victory. As Perkins got the MVP, but the game's not over yet. Hope it kick as far as possible. That way the Titans baby has some sort of chance. But of course they're going to do that instead. And there we go. That's how the game will end. And the Falcons hold on to beat the Titans. 20-17. to To clinch their first title in their 68 year history. Congratulations Falcons. Even without your quarterback you managed to get it. What a really good game that was with Brian Perkins. 33, um, 15 of 22, 233 yards and two touchdowns. As Drew Coleman was 10 of 15 for 241 yards and two touchdowns. That one throw he did was just right on the mark. That was huge right there. Russian wise, their Pro Bowl tight, I mean, running back got 37 yards. The Falcons got. 61 yards, though, out of it. Receiving-wise, Gary Pratt. Injured, but he made he saved the, the Titans in this game as he made that huge play and went all the way down to the 10 and got a touchdown two out of it before going down with an injury. Got 100 yards. He's a game's leading receiver, too. As Lewis Ross had two touchdowns as well. 
Yeah, very dominant performance they had. This game was loaded with sacks. Four sacks in this game. Insane. No turnovers either. I don't... That's up there as like one of the... I'm sure, I'm sure there's probably a Super Bowl with no turnover either, but this one's probably been a while. No turnovers at all in this game. A very clean game. It still is overall a low score in Super Bowl compared to my average for this series, but compared to last year's 7-3, to here 20-7 to team, well, much better. All right. So we are now down to the final three years of my Man 09 franchise. As like I said, I was hoping to get this series done by April of this coming year. I got one more month to go. All right. So we'll see you guys next time for 2035. But one more time, congratulations to the Falcons holding on against the Titans. 20-17 to to clinch their first title in 68 years. See you guys next time for 2035.